Our next speaker is the Honourable Phil Twyford, New Zealand Labour Party. Thank you, uh, Business North Harbour, for bringing us together today. Real people, warm bodies in a real room. It's a pleasure to be with you here and not on Zoom. Uh, I want to acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, Deputy Prime Minister, Chloe, David and Paul. Here's my message for you today. Jacinda Ardern has led a strong and stable government for the last three years. And there wasn't a playbook for COVID-19, but when it mattered, our government stepped up. The public health response of our government to COVID has been internationally recognised as among the best. Our wage subsidy scheme was faster and its reach wider than almost any other similar scheme across the OECD. And folks, our pitch on the economy in this election is that we bring the same resolve and focus and the same commitment to looking after people to the economic recovery as we brought to keeping the virus at bay. And I want to set out our five-point plan for the economic recovery. The first is investing in people. We're putting people at the heart of our plan. And you saw that with the wage subsidy scheme that, that uh, helped 1.7 million Kiwis. We protected around 3,000 tourism jobs. We supported the incomes of the hardest hit with the 12-week COVID income relief payment. We've made apprenticeships and trade training free in a number of industries, supported workers through the COVID leave scheme, and housed more than a 1,000 of our most vulnerable homeless people uh, during the lockdown. The second point in the plan is jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Our long-term response is focused on getting Kiwis back to work. And we've unleashed a massive $42 billion infrastructure program over the next four years. Roads, rail, public housing, schools, hospitals, retrofitting uh, existing houses. That's to boost the economy and create thousands of jobs. The third point is preparing for the future. We want to build back better. We've set a goal for 100% renewable electricity generation and are investigating new clean energy opportunities like the uh, Lake Onslow pump uh, hydro uh, storage. Fourth, supporting small businesses, entrepreneurs, and wealth creators. SMEs are at the heart of our economy. That's why we've put in place the Apprenticeship uh, Boost Scheme, which pays employers 12,000 in the first year and 6,000 in the second to take on and train new staff. The flexi wage extension subsidises employers to take on workers who would otherwise be at risk of long-term unemployment. That's designed to bring 40,000 Kiwis uh, back into work. The Business Finance Guarantee Scheme, the Regional Business Partners Program, that's got $65 million to provide free advice and advocacy from local experts to businesses all around this country so they can survive and pivot during the COVID economic recovery. We've increased provisional tax threshold from 2,500 to 5,000 allowed um, immediate low value asset write-offs for business items up to 5,000. And don't forget the loss carryback scheme, which allows businesses who have incurred a loss, a tax loss in this year, to set that against profits made and taxes paid in the last few years. And on top of that, our pledge to, to um, support small businesses and jobs, um, we're going to extend the small business cash flow scheme for another three years. We're going to regulate merchant service fees because Kiwi retailers are paying twice as much as their Australian counterparts for credit card, debit card and PayWave. We're going to support small businesses to pivot and digitalise their businesses. The fifth is that we have to pivot globally. As a trading nation, we rely on our exporters. We've doubled the amount of funding for NZTE to support from 700 to 1,400 Kiwi firms to grow their exports. 
We're going to continue to negotiate high-quality free trade agreements with the UK and the EU. And we're underway now with industry transformation plans in the digital, the advanced manufacturing and agri-tech industries to grow large, successful Kiwi exporters. Folks, we have a practical plan for the next term of government, and it's already underway. We'll keep debt as low as possible, and we won't go down the pathway of austerity that National is promising. With everything that's happened in the last three years, it's been a learning curve. We haven't got everything always uh, right, but when it really mattered, we delivered. And to deal with the global pandemic, this country needs trusted leadership. National, on the other hand, are a risk to people and the economy. Their main idea, tax cuts and a debt track that will cause $80 billion worth of cuts to social services. The country cannot afford that. What we need now is stability and continuity, not a divided and distracted National Party that can't even make its own numbers add up. They've had three leaders this year, and every day a new era emerges in Paul's fiscal plan. Judith Collins said the $4 billion era was inconsequential. Our plan means that we can be even stronger as we come out the other side of COVID-19. It's based on the idea that we can build back better and build a sustainable, productive and inclusive economy. Party vote Labour, let's keep moving.